No, no, I really don't actually. Hey! Hi! What's up? We're D Minus Chats. I'm Greg. I'm Brian. And we're D Minus Chats. And we have an album review. Oh boy. That's uh, a good one. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, Brian. Yeah. What did you listen to today? I was listening to Knife Party. Nice! I'm so happy I was like to Nice Party. Nice Party. <laughs> nice Party. Yo, thanks. Um. <laughs> I love Knife Party. Whoa. My friend uh, turned me on to them, and I am very appreciative. So, if I could quickly define through her words, kind of, what Knife Party is, I'm going to mess this up, Chris. I'm going to mess this up. <laughs> it is, to my knowledge, because I don't know Electronica very well, I think it's a really abrasive electro house mixed with elements of dubstep, trap, and Moombaton. <laughs> is that very accurate? Nice! <laughs> High five! High five! Very nice. Oh, and my uh, high five. <laughs> Abandoned Ship is the uh, is the uh, sorry about that. Cool. But here's the thing. Similarly, like if you watch our Calvin Harris video and we said that it wasn't exactly necessary for some electronic artists to have a full-length album because it gets too repetitive or like it's not all totally special. Some critics of Abandoned Ships said the same thing, like the second half really isn't worth it. I totally disagree. I think the whole thing's amazing, but if you don't want to listen to an hour of it, I totally recommend their EPs, uh, specifically cool. Rage Valley, I love. So Nice. Yeah, what, I hear what, a lot of people like loving it. It's like, excellent, man. I yeah, love it. Yeah. A lot of people love that shit. Yeah. Uh, what were you? What were you listening to? Oh, uh, Lydia Lunch. I was listening to Lydia Lunch. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. yeah. I do know. Yeah, I remember her. Yes, yeah, she yeah. listened to Lydia Lunch. Nice. Post Punk Dude. Party. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Lydia Lunch is the album queen of Siam. She is the darling of the no wave movement, which is probably pretty much a contradiction. But like, she uh, was uh, first, before she did her solo stuff, she was in a group called Teenage Jesus and the Jerks. And no wave, really quick, post punk, post punk, after punk uh, movement of, uh, from New York City, uh, documented on Brian Eno, this very famous New York compilation, uh, abrasive. Atonal, repetitive, textural form of uh, apocalyptic punk, semi quasi punk punk rock. And her album, uh, Queen of Siam, is an awesome, awesome record from a very nihilistic, melodramatic person and is very fun to listen to. That's what I was listening to. Now we go and do Big Sean. What's good? The album's called Dark Sky Paradise. And Big Sean is. Well, he's a rapper. Uh, I know that. He is uh, based out of Detroit. I don't know. You're looking. I don't know. I am. Uh, dude, I listen. We're not. I'm not exactly a modern rap fan, but I'm, I, I, but I always will appreciate good, well thought out uh, lyrics uh, with. Yes. No. And I enjoy rap, but we both enjoy rap, right? Rap like that. Um, mm. You have legendary um, hip hop and rap albums of the past. Can't think of King one. of Rock. Right. <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> um, <laughs> something by. That's a model! It's not Run DMC's biggest album, it's Raising Hell. Their third album. Get that out of the way. The Beastie Boys had a song, I think. Yeah, they had like two. Now, you have legendary rap, rap, rappers, uh, Biggie, and oh, yeah, uh, Jay Z, and rap groups, Nas, Nas. rap groups like NWA, Wu Tang Clan, Wu -Tang Clan Public Enemy. Y these guys are awesome. Now, here's the thing there's a problem here, okay? When you have a full album by a guy named Big Sean where every song is about making it and hitting the big time. Ooh, uh, big L is a good rapper. Okay. And Big Pun, they're both good rappers. Okay. Well, go on. I'm 
Big Sean, his account, Greg, is that he totally made it on this album. He awesome. made it. Like he Drake. totally made it. Right? Yeah. He, did that. he started from the basement, now he's at the skyscrapers, right? Right? How many stories did he fucking... Ah, uh, well, like, seven? <laughs> Seventy-four! <laughs> did Big Sean make it with this album? Did he hit the big time? Let's see. Oh, he drew a cat. He drew another cat. Okay. That's nice. Did, did he make it in your eyes? I don't think so. I think there's a large sense of... What is it? Not entitlement, not deservedness. Uh, idiocy. Okay. Right? Yeah, is that what you're going for? Or a good, good, um, no, wait, never mind, that's not worth um, It's a little bit delusional. Okay. Mm -hmm. But listen, I, I, he, he's not brand new. Big Sean's been around for a while and everything. So it's brand new. Go on. Okay. Um, all right. Well... <laughs> I don't like Big Sean's approach to this album and these songs. This because, is braggadocious. Yes! There you go. Oh, Excellent. But, like, there's tons of rappers who are braggadocious. Like, tons of rappers. That's how you, like, you know, a lot of rappers, tons of rappers, that's how fucking Jay-Z made it. Totally understand. <laughs> braggadocious. Totally maximum. understand. Got Only it. a small fraction actually make it like Jay-Z, where they can live up to the lyrics that they spit. But then again, not every power metal band is, a, is you know, made of Vikings who go on adventures and collect rings. Do you want to do that, dude? Like, kind of. Not like being a power metal band, it's just stupid, but like, collect rings. Yeah. We could spread them all over the galaxy and give them to our girlfriends. Dude, how many do you have? Do you want to give to your girlfriends? Like, like I don't know. 14, 15, 16, Well, that's kind of excessive. So many rings they give to our honeys. Standout tracks, Greg. <laughs> I liked Paradise. <laughs> Paradise Lost? No, uh, kind of. They're okay. Their new stuff's alright. Um. Do you have any standout tracks? Yeah, on shut up. He um, referenced Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> he feels blessed. Hash. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> this is so Wait, blessed. Wait, he referenced Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen! He referenced <laughs> Pink in the Brain. <laughs> he referenced Dragon Ball Z. He referenced Everyone Loves Raymond. He referenced Talladega Nights with Ricky Bobby. He referenced the X-Men, he referenced Knights of, the Knights of the Round Table, and he referenced Jim Carrey's The Mask. <laughs> he These are the fucking references Big Sean does on this fucking album, alright? Yo, I'm all about, like, stupid references. Danny Brown's an album of Triple X, he referenced Squidward from Spongebob, and it was fucking dope. He pulled that shit off, Big Sean can suck my dick. What do you think about the guest appearances? Like Kanye West? Oh my god, why are you doing this? <laughs> or Drake? I think he was on I, one of them. I don't really like Chris Drake Brown, that wasn't he on the one? He's one? not relevant. Was Drake on one of them? I don't know. Yeah, Drake was on one. He was on. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I. Kanye didn't do a good job on this album. Like, he was. I like Kanye, I really do. He was saying stupid shit. God damn. <laughs> Uh, one of these songs hit number one on the uh, Billboard R&B uh, charts, and it hit number 11 on the Billboard Hot uh, 100 charts. I don't fuck with you. Do you fuck with him? Uh, no. You no. shouldn't. Stupid ass bitch. I don't oh, fuck with stupid you. ass yeah. bitch. He oh, tells somebody how he feels. Bitch. Stupid and then ass. He tells you how successful he is. Little, little stupid ass. Stupid ass. I just don't bitch. appreciate. I wish I could. I really. I like the outro. Is that the one with grandma? No, no, the actual King, outro. King Diamond did the grandma thing better. I know. <laughs> what? Oh, standout track, Deep. It wasn't a stand up for me. With Lil Wayne? Yeah. Oh, it's, and it was just, I think it was ironic. That's the punchline. It's all a joke. Oh, that's cool. Nothing is real. Oh, this album rocks. We that like it real. now. Yeah, we like it. 
art, does artistic intention matter? It's all a fucking joke now. That wasn't like. Who would you recommend this to? I don't fuck with you. <laughs> that's that's what I recommend this to. I recommend this to Drake because he was on it. I recommend this to Ty Dolla Sign. He was on it. I recommend this shit. He's saying God good damn. Enough. Can we just point out that the song "All Your Fault" samples "How Much I Feel" by the band Ambrosia? An AOR band that's called Ambrosia. <laughs> you don't take their stuff, <laughs> Big Sean. It's so. Oh, tell it to Kanye. Holy shit. I don't know whose idea that was. I don't know. Kanye said we'll live, Listen, we're not hating on rap. We're talking about some. Throw away his filler. No, that was the funniest. I disagree. Really? It was fuck, funny. Uh, fuck, it's fuck. Right? You don't think so? Uh, I thought they were funny ones. I thought Deep was pretty funny. That was the funniest. He referenced Magneto in Deep. Yeah. Um, no, the, wait. The funniest one's All Your Fault with Kane. Kanye. With Kane. Um, yeah. It's yeah, with, because he referenced Little Caesars and Pinky and the Braid in that one. That was funny. I told you this wasn't going to be a good review. You're Once like, again, fine, like, we're not hating on rap or R&B or hip-hop because we're all... We're, we're fans of that, and we like who we like for those reasons. We dislike this for other reasons. My biggest reason is I don't like Big Sean's approach oh. with... He's very braggadocious on this entire album, and you shouldn't be that. He's not, sk he's not skyscraper level yet. You can't own an NBA team yet. Jay-Z does that. He's... Skyscraper level. You're on, you're on the second floor, out of like five floors. You motherfuckers. But they're like, but it's, it's like a big stairwell. I forgot about you. So you have to like, uh, it's a good workout at least. You yeah, run, nice. run the stairs every day, he's, listen he's to your iPod. Run the every day. Like he seems pretty fit. Run, you run know? the stairs fast. Run them. Run, run them stairs, stairs fast. fast. Run them stairs, stairs fast. fast. Run them. Run them stairs. How big is Sean? He's a small guy. Like. Like, he height? probably works out. He seems pretty, like, fit. Is he big? I like Muscle? Him. Like, I'd, 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 I'd hang out with him. Yeah, like, I want him to give me, like, protein tips. Like, how do you make protein? Do you use whey? Do you, like, actually, like, reap? Shit like that. And, like, get green. Make bread. Make a loaf of bread. What's your... Do you use marmalade? What do you put? Your pastries. Mars Capone. That's the word I was thinking of. Mars Capone. What do you, what do you want to do, dude? Like, comment, subscribe. Right. You can follow us on Twitter at D minus chats and like us on Facebook. Greg? Send us emails. Do you want to tell the nice people? Nice. Do you want to say thank you for watching? I don't really want to. Do you want to say thank, thank you for watching? I can't, I can't do it today. It's okay. Dude. Oh, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. One, two, three. Thank you, thank you for watching. I can't do it.